Welcome to another episode of Asusuibo. Today, we'll be looking at household item and kitchen items. Ngwa ulo na ngwa useku. Ngwa ulo means household items. Ngwa useku means kitchen items. We'll look at items like television, radio, sponge, soap, chair, table, and kitchen items like pots, spoon, or plates, and so on. We'll be right back. Welcome back. We are starting today with household items. What do we call TV in Igbo language? It's called Ihe Onyo Onyo. That sounds funny, right? Ihe Onyo Onyo. TV, television means Iho Nyo Nyo. And radio in Igbo is called Igwe Oku. Igwe Oku. Igwe Oku. Also at home we have chairs. What is chair? Chair is called Oche. Oche. Don't worry, I'll be writing them on the board very soon. Table. Funnily, is also table, but... The spelling is different. Table, it's called table. Table in Igbo. We have other household items like mirror. Mirror is ugebe. Ugebe. We have bed. Bed that we have in the rooms. It's called aqua edina. Call it aqua. Aqua edina. Aqua. Let's get to the board and write them out. Now let's look at the board. I started with television. It's called Iho Nyo Nyo. Could you please say it after me? Ihe o nyo nyo. One more time. Ihe o nyo nyo. The second one is radio. Radio is called Igwe Oku. Let's say it together. Igwe Oku. One more time. Igwe Oku. The third one is mirror. We all have mirrors in our homes. Mirror means Ugebe. Ugebe. Oche chair. Oche chair. Table, it's table. Let's take it together again in Igbo. Table, that's table. And, and the next one I have here is Akwandina. Akwandina is bed. Let's take it again. Akwandina. Akwandina, that's bed. We have more household items like fan, AC. What is fan? Fan is nkoyi, nkoyi, nkoyi. Then for AC is ntoyi. There are two different things. Fan is nkoyi, while AC is ntoyi. Air conditioner, ntoyi, fan, nkoyi. Then we have uh, what we call comb. Comb is nvo. Mvo, mvo, comb. Um, we have other items like baskets. Basket is uh, it's called nkata. Basket is called nkata in Igbo. Let's write them on the board.
looking at the board, we have Nkoi, which is fan, Toyi, air conditioner, Nkata, basket, Mvo, comb, Mvo, comb. We have other household items like electric bulb, we have toothbrush, we have soap and sponge. We even have, let, let's, write, let's write them on the board. Now we have soap. I mentioned earlier, soap, ncha, soap, ncha, soap, obo, sponge, obo, obo, sponge, atu, toothpaste, toothbrush, sorry, rather, atu, toothbrush, atu, toothbrush, elekere, clock, elekere, clock, oko, bulb, oko also means another thing, oko could be used um, to refer to fire or bulb. So when you hear oko, is it a fire or bulb? So oko, but here we're talking about light bulb, oko, bulb. So you're going to mention other household items you have around you. So look around you in your house and mention other items. I want us to start from the beginning again. Um, household items, we have the first one, ihe onyo onyo, which is television. Let's take it again. Ihe onyo onyo, television. Igwe oku, igwe oku, radio. Ugebe, mirror. Oche, chair. Tebulu, table. Akwandina, bed. Nkoyi, Fan, Ntoyi, air conditioner, Nkata, basket, Nvo, comb. Over there we have Ncha, soap, Obo, sponge, Atu, toothbrush. Elekere, clock, oko, bulb. I would like to also look around you and mention other household items around you and find out the, the, their names or what they are called in Igbo. And I would like you to, to send it to my inbox. Apart from the ones I've written here, just look around, look around, you identify more. Please do that for me as an assignment. I hope you enjoyed this part of the lesson. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Having looked at household items, we are going to take a look at kitchen items. We all know kitchen items like pots, plates, spoon, baskets, or we call dish drainer, and so many other things. We are going to be looking at them now. What is pot in Igbo? Pot, ite, ite, pot, ite, pot. Plates. Efere, efere, we have two types of efere. We have flat plate and bowl plates. Eferofe is the bowl plate. Eferofe is the bowl plate. And efere mbara is the flat plate. Eferofe is the bowl plate. And efere mbara is the flat plate. Efere. Then we have eferofe, the bowl plate, eferimbara, the flat plate. Then we have cup, 
cup is called eco eco cup eco spoon spoon is called ngaji some call it ngazi some call it ngaji but it's ngaji spoon ngaji i started with pot ite pot ite pot efere plate efere ofe bowl plate efere mbara flat plate cup eco let's write them on the board So we have ite, pot, efere, plate, efere ofe, soup or bowl plate, efere mbara, flat plate, eco, cup, eco, cup. We have other items like a basket. I've mentioned that earlier, earlier on. Um, we have spoon. Ngaji, I've mentioned that also. Um, we have gas cooker or stove. What we call gas cooker or stove is called osite. Osite. Osite, it's it used to refer to gas, gas cooker or stove. Or even if it's a charcoal stand or firewood stand, it's osite. We have other items like knife, um, mortar, Pestle and so on. What is knife called in Igbo? It's called umma, knife, umma. Then we have mortar for pounding. It's called ikwe. The mortar we use for pounding pepper, um, yam, and the rest. It's called uh, ikwe. Let me say it again, ikwe. Then the the long pestle. It's called akodu. Accord the pestle you use for pounding, the long uh, wooden pestle. It's called accord. Accord. Equi. Accord. That's mortar and pestle. We have a sieve in the kitchen too. Sieve, it's called nyo. Nyo. Sieve. Nyo. Um, and so many other items. Let's write them on the board. Let's look at them again. Ngaji, spoon. Ngaji, spoon. Ikwe, mortar. Accord, pestle. Ikwe, mortar. Accord, pestle. Nyo, sieve. Mma, knife. Nyo. Sieve, mma, knife. All right, I want us to start from the beginning to mention what we've discussed so far. Please just say it after me. Ite, pot, ite, pot, efere, plate, efere, plate. Efere ofe, soup plate or bowl plate. 
Efere Mbara flat plates Eco cup Ngaji spoon Ikwe mortar Accord peso Nyo save Mma knife I also told you that a uh, breakable plate, it's called Efere Nkoa. Efere Nkoa. I've mentioned Efere to you. Efere means plate. So Efere Nkoa is breakable plate or glass plate. The same thing with cup. Breakable cup or glass cup is called Iko Nkoa. But let's not go into that. I, I also told you about... Um, I've not mentioned fry pan. What do we call fry pan in Igbo? Fry pan means abada. Abada is what you use for frying. That's fry pan. Let's write it on the board. Looking at the board, we see Eferen Koa, breakable plates, Abada frying pan, Abada frying pan. I also mentioned earlier that Osite, Osite is referred to as gas or stove or charcoal stand. Some means of cooking is called Osite. So, osite means stove or gas. Eferenkoa, that's breakable plate. Agbada, that's frying pan. And osite, stove or gas. I hope you've learned a lot today and I hope you're having fun. We started from household items and we mentioned um, items like iho nyo nyo, that's television. Igweoku radio. We also talked about ncha soap, obo sponge, atu toothbrush. We talked about chair, oche, chair, oche. After the household item, we started the kitchen item, and you can still see them on the board: plates, um, efere, ite, iko, ngaji, ikwe, and so many others. Like I gave you assignments earlier on household items, I'm giving you one again. Go to your kitchen, look around you, pick, um, identify the kitchen items you have that I didn't mention here, then write their names in Igbo and inbox me. I would like to hear from you. I hope you enjoyed today's class. Having looked at the household items and kitchen items, I would like us to look at the examples on the board. The first one I have here is Ncha Dinime Nkata. Ncha Dinime Nkata. When we were talking about household items, I told you that Ncha means soap, Nkata, basket. So Ncha Dinime Nkata simply means the soap is inside the basket. Let's look at it again. Ncha denime nkata. The soap is inside the basket. The second one, I also mentioned Aziza, broom, as part of household items. Nyem Aziza simply means give me the broom. Nyem Aziza, give me the broom. 
I have a third one example third example here. Banyo ihe onyonyo. Can you remember what ihe onyonyo means? Television. So banyo ihe onyonyo means turn up the television. Let's say it again. Banyo ihe onyonyo. One more time. Banyo banyo is to turn off. Banyo is to put on. Banyo is to turn off. Banyo ihe onyonyo. The last one I have here is Nyem Efere. I hope you've not forgotten. Efere is still here. Efere means plates. Nyem Efere means give me the plates. Give me the plates. So look at the examples again. Ncha dinime nkata. Dinime nkata means inside, it's inside the basket. The soap is inside the basket. Give me the broom. That's Nyem Aziza. Banyo ihe onyonyo means turn up the television. And Nyem Efere simply means give me the plates. I hope you enjoyed today's class. It was fun, right? Don't forget to practice, 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 practice. That's the only way to learn faster. Till I come your way again, I am Ogochuku, KMSia.